So, the elephant in the room is this. How are inhabitants of the earth, like all of us, who are continuously building and rebuilding spaces for us to live in, and who don't want to ignore our carbon footprint, transform our lives so our built environments feel like living environments? How do we design in a way that allows us to make simple, practical, and long-lasting changes while still using what's right in front of us? This is your design blueprint for reducing your carbon footprint and making a lasting imprint. My name is Christina Ransbury, and this is Design Secrets. Hi! So this is going to be a really short video basically on how to frame a frame. So putting a frame on a wall or a piece of art or anything really. Um, it seems really simple, but um, a lot of people I, I find have a hard time with it, <laughs> or they're, they're putting like smaller pieces of art in a corner, or just oddly centered, um, or not centered rather. Um, so anyway, just going to do a little drawing to just make it really simple um, for those of you who maybe have a hard time with that. Okay, so here we are at the Holy Notebook. And, all right, so what I see a lot of people do is, um, maybe I'll just do a little example up here. You have a wall, right? Maybe there's some furniture, you know, whatever. And, uh, oh, you can't see that. There we go. Hmm. Yep. All right, so there's the wall. Someone will come in and they'll, like, you know, do something here, here. They'll do, like, some small arrangement like this and and that just looks really odd um maybe some people like it but overall you know if we're going for aesthetically pleasing um spaces and just that are in balance uh let's just use a bedroom wall for example and you have a bed maybe and um you know same, maybe same idea maybe you have a plant over here or something um, the idea is that the wall frames the wall. So if there was no furniture, you would basically do a center line down here and and then a center line across and then just put it on center. But because there's furniture involved, it's almost like you need to divide the space. So what would be centered here with the bed? Maybe the wall would be divided uh, in this kind of fashion. And then this would be the frame here, right? So then from there, you frame the frame, and it looks best when um, these, these are equal distances. You know, here to here, and here to here. Right? And here to here. Those would all be equal. So you see the frame here, or whatever kind of art, and there's the frame around it. Now, let's say you have this other area over here, and... Um, there's something coming up here, right? That's a little odd. You could either divide it this way or this way, but in this case, maybe I would go up, up top. Um, so this is the new frame, the wall frame, right? And then you could put a frame up here. Um, let's just go for another example. Um, I'll just do another kind of space. Maybe, maybe there's um, something over here. Um, maybe you have a tall item or a bookshelf. Maybe another smaller item over here. It's kind of odd, but maybe, maybe people have this situation. So then over on this side, if you wanted to put something on the wall, you would frame in this space. There's your frame. And then inside, however, you could go any distance. You can make it small. You can make it big. It could be a circle. It could be anything. But this is the frame that you're working with. Same goes over here. Here's another frame. So your frame would go somewhere in here. Um, sometimes it's nice when all these things are lined up at the top, right? So you could, just like windows and doors, you line these up up here. And then you would have equal distance all around. Um, and sometimes, you know, you don't have to do that. But, you know, you could, in this situation, 
Maybe you don't want it to go all the way up to the wall. You could cut that in half. I mean, as then you get then you get into things like heights, where it looks better when things are lined up. So I, if it was just this, I would I would go with that, something like this, and then in this situation down here, you'd frame this, and your frame would be in here. And this works for long spaces too. So you know if you had. Um, a thin wall, and you wanted to put a mirror on it. Um, you could just, you know, obviously run the mirror all the way top to the bottom, have this be the frame, but then there could also be maybe a bench down here. So maybe you're thinking in the future, and then here's your frame or your art. Okay, I hope that was really simple and fun. So thanks, guys. I hope that helped, and if you want any more advice or need a quick consult with me, you can go to my website down below and um, click into the uh, free consultation. Thank you, guys.